Dolph Lundgren is no longer the worst iteration of He-Man anymore. That title goes to the Masters of the Ovulation, or the Tila Zilla and the Matriarchs of the Universe, however you want to describe this dumpster fire. It came out a few days ago and this will be the last time I talk about this garbage trash. Because this show is a huge middle finger to every He-Man fan out there, just utter woke sh so woke, in fact, that the only thing that was missing was making Skeletor orange. This is a little known fact when Skeletor shouts, Behold the Lord of Destruction. He was actually talking about Kevin Smith, but in all seriousness, Kevin Smith is probably Skeletor in disguise. He defeated He-Man. By the power of woke, I finally defeated that blasted He-Man. <laughs> I finally did it. I ruined He-Man forever. <laughs> but if Kevin Smith Smith was a He-Man character, he'd be many faces because he betrayed all of us for a bag of silver. Literally started his career as the counter to cancel culture and then ended it as a lying shill. See, the thing is, Kevin didn't lose part of his heart when he had that heart attack a few years ago. He actually lost his entire sack. That's why he so desperately wants to put on a dress and declare that he's a real woman. That's why he takes all of those estrogen injections every single day. Because it makes him feel so stunning and, 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 and brave. Imagine ruining your career over a show that you never liked to begin with. Single-handedly destroyed an opportunity for greatness. This is is why you never trust a junkie. Because this fella is a walking advertisement for making pot illegal again. I'd put this geezer in the same category as Seth Rogen, just boring, witless, non-creative humor. But let's be real here, people. Something called He-Man never had a chance in today's social environment. It should have been obvious when they dropped the He-Man from the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe title. The most disgusting part is that all the trailers were made for the fans, it featured He-Man. But then the show comes out and it's very clearly for the woke critics. That bait and switch makes me think that Kevin Smith is Neil Cockman's disciple. It's a very bait and mail Neil Druckmann move. I mean, it's the same stupid logic that Naughty Dog did with the last of woke dog part two. Now, Tila Zilla will turn into Abby Zilla. Mark my words, when she gets the sword, Neil Druckmann will insert himself into the show somehow and clap her cheeks. Now, the bottom line is that the SJWs don't really want strong female characters. They want woke female caricatures. Big difference. Now, the Rotten Tomato schools are in and oh boy. While I don't take them seriously, they can be a decent way to judge overall reactions. But if you needed any more proof that this website is not only pay to play, but it has zero value or impact whatsoever. Well, here you are, 97 critic score. That is higher than The Godfather part one and two. Let that sink in. You're telling me that the critics love the new woke masters of the universe? No way! Because these bubble living, fart sniffing, pretentious wankers are just so in sync with the tastes of the average fan. Of course they're not. I mean, they are a literal meme at this point. Rotten Tomatoes is just that, rotten to the core. And as usual, the audience and the true fans of He-Man hate it, while the critics and the journalists, aka the friends of Kevin Smith, and or the lovers of all things woke in SJW love it. I mean, 97% by the reviewer and 39% by the audience. We've got another case of The Last Jedi here. It won't be long, ladies and gentlemen, until the audience score goes up magically to 80%. They'll quote, fix the audience score like they fixed the dislikes on the White House YouTube channel. Rotten Tomatoes is like a tabloid press of a news channel. And Kevin Smith is the progressive president who would tell pure lies in order to fill his stupid beliefs and philosophies down our throats. Is it a coincidence? I do not think so. But I just want to say the level of damage control I'm seeing over this score is biblical. And they're still plastering He-Man's face in every single article even though the show isn't about 
him, they are scrambling. But I find it funny when it's the fans expressing discontent. It's review bombing. But when it's a company or a person like Gina Carano being cancelled by verified blue check marks of insanity, it's facing backlash. Oh, I just love how that hypocrisy always works anyway. They keep on catering to the wrong group of people. I mean, they don't buy none of your products. That is the definition of insanity right there. When will these purple haired fairies ever learn? I wonder what they'll try and ruin next. Maybe they'll do a woke back to the future reboot. Or how about a LGBTQ version of the Goonies? That would go over splendid. Now listen, that is why Quentin Tarantino wants to retire after one more movie. He doesn't want to destroy his legacy like Kevin Smith. And that, that I can respect. Now I won't drink Kevin's tears from all the backlash he's about to get because I might die from the lie disease and on that bombshell manics out.